The retaining wall spillway we created as an aesthetic choice for installing drainage through your wall. Um, again, NCMA wants every 40 feet. They want your pipe to daylight. They also want your water eight inches beyond the toe of the wall or beyond the base of the wall. So it would always bother me when we had these pipes sticking out eight inches. And again, you could do a neat job cutting around them, but it still was pretty unsightly to have a green or white pipe sticking out through the face of your wall. So we created something a little bit more decorative. Again, it has a low profile. So again, you'd want to keep this as low to your ground as possible when it's exiting out your wall. That way it gets it down low enough so you're not going to have a problem with uh, people tripping on it or a lawnmower or whatnot. Um, so it's, again, it's decorative, has a nice look to it. It does accommodate. And again, this would be either an SDR 35 pipe, um, an S&D pipe, or a triple wall. Any one of those three uh, style pipes will fit into here. And again, I'd probably glue it in here solid. This is going to hook into the back uh, drainage part of your system. I know um, it's rare you're going to see water probably flowing out through this. But I hear a lot of contractors, they like to tie in downspouts or whatnot. And obviously that's a no-no, putting water behind your wall into that system. But if you want to run separate piping and tie it in, even into something like this, that will, again, get your water out beyond. You don't have to worry about it saturating the toe of your wall, which would lead then to a, uh, to a job failure where your base would become soft or soggy and your wall would push forward. So again, our uh, retaining wall spillway, a nice choice, decorative, classy, and hopefully ease of installation, getting your jobs done right.